Dry skin is frustrating because not only is it difficult to cover up with makeup, but sometimes it's actually physically painful. In today's video, I wanna share with you the 10 dry skin hacks and dry skin fixes that you need to know about. Dry skin is your skin type and you deal with it year round or whether it just shows up in the winter when you're traveling to different places, outside in the cold, or staying warm inside with the cozy but dry air. These are the 10 hacks and tips you need to know and try out to not only soothe your skin, but also to prevent wrinkles and damage in the future because dehydrated skin is much more prone to wrinkling and premature aging. And remember, prevention is always easier than treatment. If you do have dry skin, you're probably inclined to exfoliate, but a lot of people over exfoliate. Exfoliation is the process in which you remove the top layer of skin. And with our dry skin flakes, we want to remove the flaky ones, but we don't want to damage the protective layer of skin. Exfoliate, but don't over exfoliate. My favorite way to do this is actually with a Kojak sponge. A Kojak sponge is completely natural and they're very gentle. You rehydrate them in water and you smooth them across your skin. This gives a very light but very effective physical exfoliation that can get rid of some of those flaky pieces that tend to stick up through makeup, but it doesn't destroy, damage, or strip the skin of its natural epidermis, those outer layers that keep you protected overall. Another dry skin hack that most people don't do is testing your skin type to see if you are actually dry or if you're actually oily and just experiencing dryness. The best way to do this is by getting out of the shower. That's right. The second you step out, I want you to feel your skin. Does it feel kind of buttery, kind of like cookie dough and very smooth, or does it tend to feel tight? I don't care what your skin is on a day-to-day -day basis, whether you consider yourself oily, dry combination, etc. If your skin feels tight when you first get out of the shower, that means that your skin is dry or dehydrated. And if you tend to get oily later in the day, it's because your skin is overproducing oil to try to rehydrate itself and protect you. Now, if you do get out of the shower and your skin feels kind of like that cookie dough or that butter, then you do have naturally oily skin. But this is a test that you really should do to figure out your skin type so that you can choose makeup products and skincare products that are going to work for you. When it comes to your makeup, try using coconut oil or coconut cream as a primer. This is a really amazing DIY trick. It's inexpensive and coconut cream has a lot of beautiful fats and lipids that really do hydrate the skin. This is great because it moisturizes flakes and actually keeps them pressed down. And yet it creates kind of a sticky surface so that your foundation can stay on all day long without cracking, without creasing, and without making you look dry throughout the day. If you've already tried coconut products and your skin does not react well to them, then obviously don't use this trick. But if it's something you haven't tried, I would highly recommend you do so. Next, you know you need to moisturize, but this wouldn't be a hacks video if I just told you to moisturize. I want you to look for specific ingredients. Number one, I want you to look for hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid on a molecular level is actually kind of a salt solution, and it works by grabbing onto hydration. It can actually help to heal wounds, and it can really plump up the skin to help with fine lines and wrinkles, and of course with any dehydration. Now you always wanna use your hyaluronic acid underneath 4%. Because it is a humectant, it grabs onto water molecules and keeps them inside of your skin. The next ingredients you want to look for are peptides. This happens to be a water gel moisturizer that is completely oil free. So if oils break you out, this is a safe one. And this does have vitamins and peptides which hydrate the skin long term. It's not just the epidermis, the top layers, but it actually hydrates all the way down into the deeper layers so that you're actually working at plumping the skin. The Murad one says that it provides hydration for five days, but if you're already naturally dry, you might experience hydration for one to three. Lastly, look for raw or vitamin-infused skincare. These vitamins and antioxidants actually help to fight free radical damage, talking about the sun that you might be exposed to, the weather, the environment, and they really help to plump the skin. Your skin and your body needs nutrients, and if you can do that by what you eat and also what you put on your skin, your skin will thank you overall. Also, when it comes to beating the dry skin, you wanna make sure you're using the right foundation. If you're using a foundation that is a liquid to a powder or something that's meant to control oil, you're probably drying out your skin even more. During the winter, choose a hydrating foundation, one that does have hyaluronic acid or shea butter or some of those ingredients that will help hydrate the skin. Don't put makeup on to look good, but then have it make your skin look worse so you need more makeup. Use makeup that's actually going to deliver the properties that you need to feel beautiful with and without it. Next, you wanna wake up to moisturized skin. My favorite way to do this is by actually using a night mask. 
during the eight hours that you're asleep, don't waste that time. Use it to actually nourish your skin and bump up your skincare. This is a watermelon mask from Glow Recipe that I really like. It's really smooth to the touch, it feels very light, yet it is super hydrating to skin. Apply this before you go to bed, let it do its work for six to eight hours that you're getting your beauty sleep, and wake up with hydrated skin. I've actually done videos on my favorite sleep masks for different skin types, and also what your skin actually does while you're sleeping. So check out those links immediately after this video so that you get the skin science and the product recommendations that will work for you. Next, please stop using makeup wipes. I know they're convenient, I know they're easy, and I know they're travel friendly, but they could really be drying out your skin. The reason why is because most makeup wipes have alcohols or drying ingredients that allow them to remove makeup and be so portable. But those are not healthy for your skin if your skin is dry, unless it specifically says hydrating on it. Instead, swap that out for an oil cleanser. Oils really work well at breaking down makeup. They don't just remove it, but they can actually break down the individual particles, meaning your skin will be cleaner overall. On top of that, using an oil cleanser helps to hydrate the skin. It doesn't strip the skin of its acid mantle, which is a naturally oily shield to your skin that your body produces to transport nutrients and antioxidants. Don't get rid of that. Use an oil cleanser to cleanse your skin, remove all of the makeup, but to keep your skin's natural barrier function intact. Next, hydrate from the inside. Dr. Murad is a skincare expert and dermatologist that I highly admire, both as a person and from his skincare line. He actually wrote a book called The Water Secret that talks about hydrating your body from the inside out and breaks down the science that just because you drink water doesn't mean that you're getting that hydration. You notice you just pee it out? Actually eating fruits and vegetables and foods that have hydration in them lets your body break those down more properly and hold on to hydration. Also, your body does not have to dehydrate yourself to digest those foods. So if you want to hydrate your body from the inside out, which is not only good for your skin but for your other organs as well, try eating more fresh fruits and vegetables, things with a high water content, so that you can give your body what it needs and hydrate from the inside out. Next, get a humidifier. Do you see how cold and dry the air is out here? And the second that I step back inside, the fireplace is going, the heater is on, and the moisture level in the air could be as low as 10%. And don't even get me started about the recycled air that's so dehydrating on airplanes. If you're staying indoors for the winter, please get yourself a humidifier. This is amazing for skin. It really helps to hydrate the air as well, so it could help you breathe easier too. If you want a little DIY hack, you could actually light up the fireplace or a candle and get some sort of contraption that holds water. You can even add a little bit of lemon in it for extra scent and a little bit of aromatherapy. Thanks to the process of evaporation, as the heat warms up this water, it naturally makes the water warmer and kind of dissipates some of those water molecules into the air as steam. This can really help bring hydration and humidity back into your house. And very last but not least, mask away. Use a mask that is specifically hydrating. I like the sheet masks because they keep the mask close to your skin for an extended amount of time. This one happens to be from Patchology, but whichever one you choose, make sure that it does have hydrating ingredients. When you think about it, our cleanser is on our skin for maybe 60 seconds. Our toner stays on for not much longer. But when we actually use our serums, our moisturizers, or our masks, those things stay on for 10, 20 minutes, or even longer if we keep them on overnight. Make your skincare work for you. And especially if you have dry skin, mask away all of those flakes. Of course, dry skin is frustrating, but you don't need to let it be. By understanding your skin, the biological processes, and understanding the weather and what aggravates your face, you can properly treat it with the right products, the right makeup, and even some of the right techniques to bring hydration back into your body, into your environment, and into your skin. I really hope that you enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more hack videos, I have some on oily skin, we have acne hacks, we have curly girl hair hacks, you name it, it's all in a playlist for you. So be sure to like this video if you liked it, or give it a thumbs down, and comment below on why if you didn't. And of course, smash like and subscribe so that you don't miss future videos on hacks, on skincare, on snow adventures, etc. I love you guys so much, and I cannot wait to see you in the next video. <laughs> love you guys! Bye!